What's up, guys? Back again. This is Jerry. My mic's over here. What a loser. What a loser. Anyways, um, we're back again for another uh, reaction video. Uh, big shout out, to, shout out to my friend Alex uh, from here in Wichita. He's a he's a he's a good homie, and um, I miss you, brother. It's been a long time. Uh, he actually had a request for Hobson, Ill Mind of Hobson Seven. Okay. I uh, <laughs> he's trying to get me to go deep on it. I've heard about this one. I've heard about something about he's questioning God and whatnot. And I'm excited because I haven't got a chance to hear it yet. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Shout out to all the Hobson fans. Hobson is a freaking beast. And if you see me like blinking and freaking stuff, my eyes have been so freaking dry. I think it's all the wind here in Kansas. It's been so windy. So if you see me like trying to blink my eyes and crap. That's what it is. So, let's go ahead and jump into it. Excuse me. Uh, this is Hobson. Ill Mind of Hobson 7. Here it goes. Oh, irritating. Put on some goggles. where I belong, is it wrong to not believe in right and wrong, my mental state is fucking me up and I cried upon while asking you for some answers but we don't have that type of bond, that my desire is gone, with the way that I've been living lately, if I died right now, you turn the fire on, sick of this bullshit, niggas call me a sellout, cause I hopped to Christianity so strongly then I fell out, now I'm avoiding questions like a scared dog with his tail down, feeling so damn humiliated cause they looking at me like I'm hellbound, what story should I tell now, I just exposed the truth, I'm so close to the fucking edge I should be close to you, but who the fuck are you? You never show the proof, and I'm only fucking human, yo, what am I supposed to do? Just way too many different religions with vivid descriptions, begging all fucking men and women to listen. I can't even beat my dick without getting convicted. These ain't wicked decisions. I got different intentions. I've been itching to get it. I've been giving assistance, but the whole fucking system this. is twisted. Now I'm dealing with this backlash because Marcus isn't a Christian, and I've been told that my sinful life is an addiction, but I can't buy it. It's just too hard to stand beside it. I need an answer. Humans can't provide it. I look at the earth the sun and i can tell a genius man designed it it's truly mind-blowing i can't deny it is heaven real is it fake is it really how i fantasize it where's the holy ghost at how long does it take a man to find it my mind's a non-stop tape playing and i can't rewind it you gave me the bible and expect me not to analyze it i'm frustrated and you provoked it i'm not reading that mm. motherfucking book because the human wrote it i have a fucking <laughs> brain you should know it you gave it to me to think to avoid every useless moment it was a mission that i had to abort because humans be lying with such an inaccurate Resource. It's gonna be hard to put me back on the course. Next to home is witness to come on my porch. I swear I'm slamming the door. <laughs> a lot of folks believe it though, but I'm not surprised. Humans are fucking dumb. Still thinking that box alive. Yeah. I ain't trying to take your legacy and torture down. I'm just saying, I ain't heard shit from the horse's mouth. Jet Sheep always telling stories of older guys who were notarized by you and you finally vocalized. Now I'm supposed to bow my head and close my eyes and somehow let the Holy Ghost arise. Sounds like a fucking poster guy. Show yourself and the boom is done. Every rumor's gone. I no longer doubt the shit. You're the one. I'll admit that my sinful ways were stupid fun. And all my old habits can hop on top of a roof to plunge. I donate to a charity that could use the funds. Fuck the club instead of bitches. I'd hang with a group of nuns. And everyone I ran into would know what I came to do. I wouldn't take a step unless it was in the name of you. I hate the fact that I have to believe. You haven't been chatting with me like you did Adam and Eve. And I ain't seen no fucking talking snake or rabble from trees with an apple to eat. That shit never happens to me. I don't know if you do what don't exist. It's driving me crazy. Send your condolences. This is me reaching the you, so don't forget. If hell is truly a pit of fire and I get thrown in it, I'ma probably regret the fact that I ever this shit. My says it's all fake. I hate to say it, but fuck it. I'm probably gonna regret the fact that I wrote this ish. 
that I lost faith. This isn't a small phase. My perspectives all change. My thoughts just keep picking shit apart all day. Hmm. And in my mind, I make perfect sense. If you aren't real, then all my prayers aren't worth a cent. That will mean that I can just make up what my purpose is. And I can sit in church and just say fuck in the services. Man, hmm. what if Jesus was a facade? Then that would mean the government's God. I feel like they've been brainwashing us with a lot. So much that we don't even notice that we're stuck in the box. Man, everything is what if. Why is it always what if? Planet Earth, what if? The universe, what if? My sacrifice, what if? My afterlife, what if? Every fucking thing that deals with you is fucking suspect. I'm fucking done. Ooh. I'm fucking done. This is my fucking life and I'm living it. I'm having fun. If you really care for me, prove that I need to live carefully. But I'll be damned if I put my own pleasure aside for an afterlife that isn't even guaranteed. Damn. We are you, and you're us. Stop playing games. My life's all I got, and heaven is all in my brain. It's all in your heart, brother. And when I feel I'm in hell, my ideas are what get me through pain. Do as you please, and I'll just do me. I'm a human. I'll stay in my lane. <laughs> Holy snackers. <laughs> Holy crap, bro. I gotta get me something to get in a vibe. Oh, this is good. Woo! Okay, hold on, man. I gotta get, I gotta get some music here. Something just to, something to um, get my thoughts flowing. Sometimes I, sometimes I do that. We'll go with, uh, I don't know, man. Where's the mix? Uh, we went there. The equipment race. I don't know. We'll go with this one. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Hopefully, hopefully get some 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 kind of um, energy flowing here. I don't know, no guarantees. Okay, damn, bro, I I, I like that, man. Coming from a person that was raised in Christianity, um. I was I've always had questions about the Bible but I was always afraid to ask them because if you if you question it you're demonized if you question it it's it's like blasphemy you never question the Word of God well if you don't question you're just a puppet to what someone had once written and man can be flawed especially for um, greed and, and reasons of greed and, and material gain and wealth um, it, it, it's 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 a man manipulation tactic and I believe I mean I don't know man like hopefully you guys have an open mind too I question many things in the Bible and a lot of the things that that I question it, it seems like it seems like um, if you don't serve this one God you're going to hell but it's the God that loves you the God that the God of love your father the one that created you the one that knows all and the one that that knows your whole life before you've even lived it and knows what you're gonna do before you even do it and if he was the God of love if like I'm a father myself and and if, if, if my daughter was to be born and I know that she was gonna um, drink and drive and get in a car accident when she's young because she was partying it would be hard I don't know that's a good one that's a good question it'd be hard to wanna allow no no that's not even true okay if she doesn't follow my rules which I know she's not gonna do I'm gonna throw her in the fire myself and she's gonna burn forever I'm the God. I'm 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 Father. I'm 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 the the God of love. It just kind of blows my mind, you know. Like, and what about all the people, the other people in in different religions, that 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 are living happy and that are serving, you know, serving God and and loving God and and and, and helping others. You, you mean to tell me that my God or the the God of Christianity 
um, would not have compassion when I myself, as a, as a human being, I have compassion for those people and you think, and, and you tell me that the God of love wouldn't have compassion for them? I don't know, like, uh, but the fact of the matter is, I think it's been contorted and perverted in a way to to um, bind people into one thought process and to never question, just as um, society has in, in religion and government and societal groups and races and, 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 and all the different things that, that, that separate us all. We are programmed to never to question, and if you if you question the government, you're considered a conspiracy theorist. If you question religion, that's blasphemous. So, I believe the Spirit of God lives within us all, that we are one in God, all of us. No matter um, what God you serve, what um, religion, I believe it's all a... Um, it, it, it's all a, a guide, a symbol to, to show us the path in, into enlightenment and the path to live with, um, within the truth within all of us. You know, God lives with all, within all of us. And, and once you understand that, that we are perfect love and that, that at, the, at the core of who we all are, we are perfect and everything that we've ever doubted about ourselves and all the, the baggage we've accumulated has all been a um, accumulation of conditioning and, and, and reactions based upon the things that we've had happen to us and the pains and the, and the hurts and, the, and, and all the barriers and walls that we put up against being hurt again. And sometimes it's, it's alcohol, sometimes it's drugs to ease that guilt and to ease that pain. But I believe behind all of that, we are perfect as... as as a spiritual being, we are one as, as 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 human beings. We're spiritual beings living in a in a human experience. So I don't know. That's just my thoughts, guys. I don't know. I just kind of went off on a tangent. But, but hey, my name's my name's Jerry, and I'm I'm a little little dude. <laughs> I do reaction videos, and I enjoy it. And um, hopefully, you guys got something from this. Hopefully, you aren't. I mean, I'm not against Christianity. I, th I think Jesus was real. I think he's a prophet, and I think that he. Um, you know, I don't know. I wasn't even there. He might, you know, maybe I'm wrong and maybe he did die on the cross. And I mean, I'm sure he did. Maybe. I mean, that's actually my thought. I think he did. But the whole idea of, of, of being um, excluded to one religion or you burn, that just saddens me, really. But um, I think all these teachers are enlightened beings and they all point towards the one truth of God and love. And um, so that's just my thought. So. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Jerry, Revolution Uprise. Whatever you're going through in life, all the questions you have and all the doubts within yourself, right now in this very moment, you are, you just are. You are perfect. You are love. You are pure, the pure essence of love. And and, and your mind is conditioning. Your heart is, is pure. Um, that's your authentic self, I think. And um, if, if you can transcend your mind... And overcome all of your thoughts, um, all the negative beliefs of yourself. That's when you find true peace and bliss. So keep fighting. No, don't keep fighting. Um, love yourself. <laughs> love yourself. Love your flaws and know that everything's going to be okay. My name is Jerry, Revolution Uprise. Rev up and stay up. And until next time, you guys um, take it easy.